show you a quick way to do the um, spray rose wired corsage. This is not a glued corsage. So basically you're going to put use your ultra fine wire and you're going to go through the bottom of the, the rose so you end up with like that. And you're going to put your pieces of baby's breath on. Now I tend to put everything on, my greens, my baby's breath, everything all at one time, but you can tape in between them, but the more often you tape, um, the thicker it's going to be. Um, also you can use the paper towels that I have here. I, I cut them in little squares and you, you put your baby's breath on and then you wrap this little paper towel around there. And when this is in the cooler, made up to like three days in advance, it's gonna stay wet inside the cooler and the flower and the baby's breath and everything stays nice and plump. Um, so we now have, for the typical wrist corsage, we have six of these. I have your generic wristlet here. Of course you can use fancier ones, but this is a generic. And I'm gonna show you a really quick way to do this corsage. So you're gonna take all three together like this. Give it a little twist here just so that it holds it together while you're taping. And you're going to put this on and bend these over. Okay. Then you've got your, your bow that's already done. So you're going to put your bow on and just take your wire and just kind of go around like that because all we're doing is just holding it in place so that we can do the rest of this corsage. Now the bottom half of the corsage you're going to take your flower and you're going to put it, kind of bend it just a little bit so that it comes about right there and you're going to fold the bottom over again and you're going to tape. Don't worry, you can fix this even after the fact. Okay. And then you're going to take your last one and you're going to bend it backwards. And this is going to give you that shape where you have three at the top, three at the bottom. And you're going to tape it. Sometimes uh, I like to go back and take just a tiny little piece of ribbon and put it up underneath like this and it kind of gives it the impression that the whole corsage is made within the bow. And you're going to take that off, you're going to cut it, make sure there's no exposed wires and you're going to push that up. And now you have what I call a more elegant looking corsage. You can also do this with four roses if you want to make it smaller. And that's how it sits.